Welcome back. We're answering your questions about the coronavirus with Moses Cone Memorial Hospital Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jay Wyatt. Remember, you can text your questions. The number is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Dr. Wyatt, you and I were just talking during the break about how when you're sitting in your office, you don't wear a mask and a face shield. But as soon as you walk down the hall into the lounge, you make sure you have that on. Absolutely. Uh, it is the standard in our hospital now that whenever you are within the walls of the facility in any area where patients and or uh, staff are, you need to wear a universal mask and a face shield. Of course, uh, during breaks, people go to lounges to eat, they go to the cafeteria to eat. A cafeteria is very appropriately spaced, but sometimes in the lounges, once the staff gets there, they'll sit down, they take off their mask and they'll take off their face shield to eat but then they won't put it right back on after they finish and they'll just sit there and converse. And what we've noted is that at times that can lead to transmission um, in people who may have contacted it outside of the hospital, not known to be symptomatic and brought it back in. And so what you're saying is don't let down your guard even with the coworkers that you know and that you're used to seeing. As a matter of fact, we're making it a standard that you continue to wear those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so someone is asking, um, someone told me that it depends on your blood type if you can contract the virus or not. The person told me that if you are O negative, you cannot get the virus. Is this accurate? We have not shown that to be true. So we do not know that to be true as of yet. Um, no. Are there specific activities that are driving up the number of cases in Guilford County? Well, our numbers in Guilford County are not soaring. We're actually at a point now where our rate of transmission is, is relatively low. However, anything that tends to congregate people will increase the chance that it will be transmitted. So uh, we are allowing some restaurants to open up. Most of them allow for outside sitting and they keep families apart from other families. Um, I can't say that they're increasing the transmission at all because they seem to be doing, doing things the right way. But unless there are congregate situations, parties, things like that that we don't know about, then there's really nothing else that people are doing that, you know, increase your risk. All right, this person I think that has texted is looking for a gray area because this is what they're asking. If I come into contact with someone who tested positive, how long can I be around them before I am at risk? So generally we say that if you're within six feet of someone who is positive with no protective devices at all, no mask and no face shield, um, and within six feet, um, for more than 15 minutes, then there's a chance that you might uh, get the, the disease. It's not guaranteed, but there's a chance, much better chance than if you had on some type of protection and just didn't stay in their presence, knowing that they are positive. Now, if you don't know, you just don't know, that's why we have to wear protection most of the time when we're around people we don't know. Not just wear protection, but being really that six foot distance. And is keeping key. that distance, yes. Now, if, I mean, if when you walk by people, in a storm and everyone is appropriately masked, you know, a five second walk by is not going to cause any problem. Okay. This person is asking, do doctors and nurses wear face shields or face masks? We wear both. Uh, we found that the best uh, protection for patients, um, especially if they're COVID positive or presumed to be COVID positive, but even in those who we do not suspect have COVID, the best protection is a face shield and face mask. Okay, this is a, a popular text that we keep getting. Can people get COVID more than once? And if so, are older people or younger people more likely to get it twice? Um, if younger people or older people are more likely to get it more than once? Yes. So I believe the answer is still unknown as to whether or not you can get COVID more than once. I do think that there are are some groups that have gotten it more than once, more than three months out from their original uh, infection, uh, but that is actually fairly rare. We are not convinced that any immunity that you develop during your first episode of COVID provides lifelong immunity. So we're, we're still looking into that. And I don't think there's any difference in terms of risk of getting it again if you're younger or older. 
Um, the symptoms, again, are much worse usually in the older population. Mm -hmm. uh, this person is texting this question. Are men more likely to contract coronavirus than women? Actually, no. In our data and throughout the Guilford County area and from what we see in North Carolina, women, women have um, a slightly higher percentage of uh, being positive than men. All right. And this kind of piggybacks on that. Are doctors in Greensboro seeing more middle-aged people, ages 30 to 50, getting coronavirus? So recently we have started to see larger numbers of people between the ages of 30 and 50 um, um, in specific groups, uh, mostly the Hispanic Latinx community, we're seeing a, a younger population. Uh, so this person is asking about body temperature. At what body temperature should I be concerned that I might have coronavirus? Sometimes I can get a 99 degree body temp reading, but I don't feel bad. The agreed upon temperature is about 99.5. If you have other symptoms and a fever, you should probably get tested or go see uh, one of your doctors. All right, so someone is asking, how safe is it to go to North Carolina beaches? Is there any concern that even if you're socially distanced, the breezes on the beach could carry COVID from one group to another? It's a tricky question because you, they're absolutely right. If you're that unlucky person to get hit with the virus from someone who's 30 feet away from you that just happens to come in the wind, um, that's very unlucky. I think generally though, if you're appropriately social distance on the beach. And that's the part that tends to break down on the beaches as people go out and have fun and maybe uh, drink a little bit. They tend not to adhere to those social distancing rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe it's not the beach that's the problem. Maybe it's when you go up to get like an ice cream or something like that, you kind of forget that distance. That's exactly like if you've been laying on the beach without a mask, you go to the restroom, you go to get something to eat, you forget to put on your mask, you say, oh, I'll get it when I come back. Those very few moments can, can be very, very uh, different. All right, we want you to continue to text your questions. You can see the number there at the bottom of your screen and Dr. Wyatt will be with us again to answer your questions in just a few moments.